These heavy lumps of metal are simple but at times frustrating pieces of machinery. Stamp batteries in various forms have been used since ancient times to separate gold from quartz. From the 1860s, many dozens and dozens of stamp batteries were hauled, carted and eventually erected throughout these mountains. Over the decades, these stamp batteries released many tens of thousands of ounces of gold. At one point or another, the ranges and the gullies around the Star Battery echoed to the sounds of these industrial machines. There was the 10 head battery over at the Razorback Ridge just below Mount Feathertop. Then there was another 10 head battery over in the West Branch at the Crescent Mine. There was the 5 head battery just down the road at the Monarch. Then there was the big 15 head battery at the Biplane Mine. There was also, just down the spur a little bit, the neat little one head water wheel driven battery at the Olive Branch Mine. <laughs> Real bug as a machine to keep operating, there's always something going wrong. Water races, ditches and pipes always leaking or getting clogged with leaves and debris. Then you might drop a shoe or the belt might slip or one of these cams will come adrift. And then you're always having to keep, keep grease up to all of these moving parts. And then you've got to feed these hungry buggers with quartz, good gold bearing quartz at least half ounce stone, and that's only if it's easy enough to pull out of the ground and get to the battery. Once these machines stopped, they quickly fell into ruin. Some still lie forgotten in the bush, a hidden monument to the region's rich gold mining heritage. Some say that on a cool, starlit night, they can hear the music of the stamps echoing up in the black hole below. Yeah. 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 Yeah.